All right, in this video, we are going to install ROS on a QRB5165 based platform. This is the RB5 flight. We could be doing this on the Voxel too. They, they share the same SOC inside and uh, fundamentally the same uh, root file system and kernel, very, very close. So uh, we'd like to treat them the same. So our software stack, the Voxel SDK is gonna be running on this and that's what we're gonna be using here shortly. Um, so what I what I have here is uh, first uh, I've I've upgraded the the my RB5 flight from the RB from the the, the original system image that shipped with it, um, and I did that by uh, going to our downloads and looking for the RB5 flight with Voxel SDK platform release. You'll notice in here this uh, 13108 uh, image is is the, the latest, which is common for Voxel too. And so we're going to be using the same software. Um, so I've already downloaded this, uh, oops, uh, this one, the Voxel SDK platform release. I've downloaded this and I've flashed it. And we're, we're roughly at the state right after I've flashed. I'll do a different video for, for that one. Um, but um, just so we can see here, I'm going to be uh, doing all this on the, uh, the RB5 flight. So I could kill this for now and let's get a terminal going. So I'm gonna go ADB shell. Cool. So if I've just, uh, let's actually follow the docs. So how do we set up ROS? It says Voxel 2, but it's uh, Voxel 2 or RB5 flight. And um, it's saying that we need to uh, get connected to the, connect to the internet. So, um, we have on the RB5 flight built-in built Wi-Fi on the SOM. We also have USB ports. I have a little alpha dongle that I like that I've plugged in um, to my USB port. And uh, in order to get to uh, my home network, I'm going to connect. I have a home network going on here. Let's see what it is. It's uh, this funny, silly name, Bloody Mary Bagel 2. And uh, I'm going to connect my drone to that network. And I'm going to use um, what's cool is... We have a bunch of Voxel tools that come in the Voxel SDK, one of which is Voxel Wi-Fi. And I can go into station mode, uh, which means I can connect to my network uh, with a SSID and password. So I'm going to do that right now. Voxel Wi-Fi station. Ready. And table two. I have to enter a password. Cool. Hit enter, and I get a, um, a reboot is required to uh, for the changes to take place on the RB5 flight. So I'm going to exit from ADB. You didn't see that, but now I'm back down here, and I could do a soft reboot, ADB reboot, and I'm going to wait. ADB wait for device, and this will be like a blocking command until the, the device is ready. And one thing that's cool with system image 131 on RB5 flight is the boot up time is much better. Look at that, seven seconds, so cool. Um, all right, so ADB shell, and if I ping um, a URL here, let's see. Uh, oh, let's see, still coming up. There we go, so we're, we're, up, we're up now. So we have internet, let's go see what's next. We have to install well, we have to update. Let's do apt update. Cool. And then we're going to install some packages. Oh, I already did that, but on your system, it will take a, a couple minutes But after that. And what we also need to do is for this little next demo, just to see uh, things in action and also to, to um, configure our sub our subsystem. Um, with all the services that are needed. Uh, I have RB5 Flight Drone, and I've just uh, installed the platform release with the Voxel SDK, but we can run this Voxel Configure MPA script, um, and it's going to pass in the family RB5 Flight, and it's going to set up the, um, the services and config, and config files um, for this drone. So I'm going to run that guy. Cool. So, so we, we have um, configured the, the sub, sub, subsystems, and I'm going to do a reboot real fast. Cool. 
go. Now I could run voxel inspect services and it's gonna show what is running behind the scenes. So we got some action, all looking good. So okay, what for this demo right now, it's gonna be using camera server amongst some other ones. But what we can do is there is uh, in the, the raw melodic uh, install, there's a setup script, we can run that. No change needed, and we ship by uh, the Voxel SDK with a little node here, Voxel MP to ROS. So, so these background services are communicating data through uh, Linux name pipes in a in an architecture we call modal pipe architecture, and uh, we have the ability to uh, translate that from MP to ROS. And this this node will will do that. And this is just kind of like a hello world to sanity check with cool. We have um, things are things are working. And for now, I think we'll stop that. All right, we're actually not done with this. I launched this one more time, and I'm going to use a uh, ROS topic list command, which I have down here. And let's just see. Indeed, cool. So, so our our node that's translating the MPA based interfaces to um, to ROS topics is, is working and um, the topics available are shown here. So for now we're going to leave this portion of the demo as is and I'm going to move on to um, using MavROS on target. So that's this MavROS test example.